Hi guys, it's Ian again from Global Air Supplies. We distribute cargo air filters in the UK. We brought you to the factory to show you how they're made and come, come have a look around. So this is how the filters are made. We start off with three galvanized plates. Exactly the same as this. These are for a 250, 60 by 660 filter. Three plates. Then we start off with the mesh. This mesh is 55% open. So it means the, the air travels through the mesh a lot better. There's no restrictions. In Chinese filters, they use bigger holes, but they put a nylon mesh behind it to stop the carbon falling out. So basically, we get 55% open mesh on this. A Chinese carbon is probably around about 50%. What we also use is granular carbon. Granular carbon absorbs organic particles or smells in our, in our industry a lot better than pelletized carbon. Pelletized carbon is twice as heavy for the same volume. So if we're trying to put the same volume carbon in the carbon filters, it's going to weigh twice as much. Pelletized carbon is a great carbon, but you need twice as much, and the only active particles is the end of the carbon. In our filter, which is a 250, 660, 60 mil bed, this is how much carbon goes in them. What we're going to do now, we're going to take the metal plates in this raw form and we're going to turn them into flanges. Thank you. So now we're cutting to discs, we're going to put them on the press and turn them into a bottom flange, a top flange, and a little bit of a secret for you. So all the discs now have the correct size holes in them to go to the next step. The press comes down, forms the base of the filter. See, we've already got the base. Now we make the top flange. This machine puts the lid on the flange. Now what we've got to do, we've got to get rid of his sharp edge. As you can see, all these machines are completely calibrated. This machine takes the edge from the flange and rolls it over so we don't get any sharp edges and the fan will butt directly up to the filter. Now we have a completely rolled edge. It's not sharp anymore compared to this edge, which is basically an, an unfinished edge. A lot of the Chinese carbon filters use this kind of edge. Really sharp, really nasty. So now what we're gonna do, roll the mesh and let's build a filter. So here you see the guys rolling the outer mesh for our carbo air filters. They roll it one way through the wheels, completely 360. Turn it round and roll it and pack the other way. This gives it its rigidity when we're making the filter. The steel mesh now resembles a cylinder. The next process is to basically rivet the mesh together to create the cylinder tube. First it's drilled, the outer flange is added so it keeps the right size. And the rivets are now punched through. Multiple rivets are added 
roughly one every 10 centimetres. These rivets are also galvanised to stop them rusting against the mesh. Now we've got the first outer cylinder for the carbon. What we have to do now is put this on a base plate, put the inner mesh in, put the top on and we're ready for the carbon. So now we're at the carbon filling station. This is where we fill the cylinder with carbon. The carbon now is already vibrated into the canister. Any excess carbon is spooned off. The vibration plate allows the carbon to settle. Now we take the carbon, we take it across to the station, we have a flange, which we saw us make before. This is the piece what disappeared. We are the only guys to use this kind of compression. We put this in the flange. We use this. This compresses the carbon into the canister, so if it moves over time or you get a lot of airflow through the carbon and it drops, this compresses from one mil to about 20 mil, stops any air escaping past the filter. We place this in the flange. Now this is compressed onto the filter. We use compressed air to compress the flange down. Again, we use galvanized self tappers. The filter is then taken to the next stage where the pre filter is added. Any excess carbon is vacuumed from the filter. This is so you don't get that puff of carbon into your room when you first turn your fans on. Now we have the System Air logo badge. These filters are the only filters being tested by System Air for airflow and pressure loss. Every filter is matched to a System Air fan so that we get the correct air movement when you connect the filter to the fan. It's time to take it for the filter, pre-filter adding and also the brackets. 2.5 centimetres thick. If you see the thickness of these, in our opinion these are the best pre-filters anybody uses on filters. Now we attach the brackets so that the filter can be hung properly in your room. Once both brackets are added, it's time to wrap the filter into the packaging. This stops the carbon filter moving in transit and when it's hung. Wrapping them this way stops any moisture getting inside the filter while it's in the warehouses. Add it to the box, we'll put the data sheet in. The data sheet explains what the pressure drop of the filter is. Palletised, back to England for somebody to use. The best filters in the world. So thanks for watching guys. Now you know how Carboware filters are made. Any more information on filters, Go to carboware.co.uk. See you next time.